I just went to the Rio Grande Valley. We saw some common birds, some specialty birds, and some awesome rarities. In this video, you'll get to join me on this seven day adventure. Welcome to the Rio Grande Valley. So I am here at Benson State Park and there's a lot of birds here. This is a great place to see a lot of Rio Grande Valley specialties. At the visitor center, I got clay colored thrush, green jay, plain chachalaca. There's a lot of Rio Grande birds. I've been to the valley quite a few times before, but the clay colored thrush always eluded me. So it's pretty cool to get that. The first stop is going to be the hawk tower where hopefully we can get like a gray hawk or some other Rio Grande Valley specialty there. So I'm riding bikes today, which means I have gone with a smaller camera lens today. Instead of my 150 to 600 millimeter lens, I have my 70 to 300 millimeter lens. It's a little less range, but it's a lot easier to ride a bike with it. So I'm up here on the Hawk Tower and quite a bit of birds here. No hawks actually, um, but I did get some plain chachalacas, white-eyed vireo. Um, heard a long-billed thrasher and some yellow legs down in the water down there. At some bird feeders, there is the Rio Grande Valley subspecies of the wild turkey, some red-winged blackbirds, and Altamira orioles. Benson also has a fairly large body of water that I was able to get both pie-billed and leased grebes at. So I'm here at Resaca de la Palma State Park and a lot of rare birds reported here. We could get roadside hawk, um, two species of bacards, and a tropical parula. So let's go see what we can find. So we just got the roadside hawk. It was very easy. He was just at the end of the boardwalk here. Really neat, rare bird, and really easy to get to. I spent a couple hours by the visitor center since that's where the Bacard was last seen. But after looking, and looking, and looking, the Bacard was not seen by anyone that day. We did bike the tram road there, and as far as notable birds go for that, we got golden-fronted woodpecker, white-eyed vireo, black-crested titmouse, and a verdin. The next stop is Hugh Ramsey Park to try and find a golden-crowned warbler. While I didn't find the warbler, I did get my first curve build thrasher and indigo bunting of the year. Next up, we went to a spot where a burrowing owl has been reported. This same owl was there last year, but we were unable to find him. This year, however, we were successful. So yesterday we were mostly just trying to get a couple of rarities, um, which we were able to get several, which was great. But today we're going for species, and there's no better place to do that than Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge. This place has had some great rarities in the past, like the first ever U.S. record for the bat falcon. Um, there's not really a whole lot reported right now, but there is quite a bit of species, such as waterfowl and all that good stuff. So let's go see what we can find today. So we checked in at the visitor center and got several good species right off the bat. Got Altamira oriole, plain chachalaca. Great kiski the golden fronted woodpecker, and I heard a tropical kingbird. Okay, so there's a lot of mosquitoes out here, um, but there's also a lot of birds. So I got olive sparrow, white-eyed vireo, and blue-gray gnatcatcher. There's also some turkey vultures up there on that tree behind me. So I'm up here on top of the hawk tower and got a lot of woodpeckers here. You can see them in the trees pretty well, golden fronted and ladder backed. As far as new species go, I picked up northern cardinal, Carolina wren, and some turkey vultures. So the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so hopefully that helps with the mosquitoes. We're coming up to a lake here pretty soon that should have some waterfowl, so it'd be great to get some of those species. There's white Iverios calling around me right now, and I just heard a red-shouldered hawk. Last time I was here in April, there was a groove-billed Annie right behind me here. Although, right now in February, all the Annies have headed south for the winter.
So I'm here at Pentail Lakes, and there's a lot of birds here, a lot of waterfowl. Got cinnamon teal, blue wing teal, green wing teal, um, gray egrets, snowy egrets, killdeers flying overhead, a lot of coots here, and black neck stilts. So here on the other side of the lake, we picked up eared grebe, least grebe, pie billed grebe, and ruddy duck. We're gonna head back and see if we can find a kingfisher or something on our way back to the parking lot. On the way back, I saw some northern shovelers, an American kestrel, some long-billed dowagers, a large rat called a nutria, some lesser scop, and a spotted sandpiper. So right in front of me was a loggerhead shrike, and I was able to get some great pictures. I'll pop them up on your screen right now. Some more snowy egrets here, and a lot of kilters flying around. While I was out on the lake, the mosquitoes died down, which was great, but back in the woods again, and they're starting to pick up a little bit. I think we're going to call it a day here. Tomorrow we're going to Estero and Frontera. It's a really cool places and should see a lot of birds. Right after Santa Ana, we made a quick stop to look for some monk parakeets. We were able to see several birds and a couple of nests. Later in the day, we went to the McAllen Parakeet Roost, which is really just a grocery store parking lot that parakeets come to every evening. So I'm here at Osaka de la Palma State Park again to try to get that Picard. Um, did not get it. We spent about an hour and a half here. However, I did see a tropical parula. Um, got blue-headed vireo and black and white warbler, which are some new ones for the year for me. And the parula is a lifer. We're going to go ahead to another park and then hopefully get a golden crowned warbler, which is a rarity. So I'm here at Hugh Ramsey Park and looking for the golden crowned warbler. Unfortunately, we dipped on it, but I did get a Wilson's warbler, which is pretty neat, and a gray catbird. So I'm here at Frontera Audubon Center, and there's a lot of birds here. I'm at the bird feeding station here. The main target here is going to be a crimson colored grosbeak, and we also might get a golden crowned warbler, which would be pretty neat. We dipped at it at the last stop, so it'd be cool to get it here. So it's a little less likely that we'll get that one, but if we do, it'd be pretty neat. So I just got the gross beak. It was eating an orange on the ground. Got some fantastic pictures of it right as I walked up. Really cool bird. I believe it's a code 4 species, which means it's pretty rare here. And in the United States, you can only find it in the Rio Grande Valley. So it's a great bird to get, and we saw it right away. So I'm on my way to go see where the golden crown warbler was last seen yesterday. Um, and there's a white-eyed vireo calling behind me. While at some bird feeders, we got word that some other birders had seen the golden crown warbler on the other side of the park. Right before that, I found a northern mockingbird, black-crested titmouse, and a squirrel on top of a bird feeder. So I just got the golden crown warbler. He was very, very hard to see. Um, super skulky bird, but I managed to get a couple identifying pics of him. It's a really rare bird for this area, so great to see, and a new lifer. So I'm here at Estero Llano Grande State Park, and this is a great state park. I've been here several times. It's smaller, which means you can find a lot of birds in a pretty short amount of time, which is really neat. Um, there's not a whole lot of water in most of the lakes right now, but behind me here is Alligator Lake, and there is quite a bit of water here. We've got Anhinga and some yellow crowned night herons, also some great egrets over there. We're going to keep on hiking down the trail and see what else we can find. On the way back from Alligator Lake, some birders pointed out a common paraki to us. Parakis seem to like this stretch by Alligator Lake, as that's where I got my lifer a year before. So we were just up on the levee and got some waterfowl there, like blue winged teal, had a fly by black bellied whistling duck, um, saw a couple green winged teals, and some long billed dowagers. Also got least sandpiper and American kestrel perched up on a power line. So if you can only go to one place in the Rio Grande Valley, I would definitely go to Estero because it's small so you can get a lot of birds in a short amount of time and there's a bunch of different habitats like there's marshes, there's this dry habitat here, and then in the tropical zone there's forest. So all throughout the year there's always a lot of birds here and you can have a lot of habitat in a pretty short amount of time. Now if you're going to the Rio Grande Valley and you have some questions, put them in the comments below and I'll answer them for you if you need advice on spots to go or what to see while you're here. Just let me know. So I'm here in the tropical zone part of Estero. It used to be an old orchard, I think, and then they've kind of made it more bird friendly here. I just found an eastern screech owl, which is really neat. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. You can barely see them. 
but I got on an eBird checklist that someone else submitted and found one of their pictures and then matched it up with my picture to confirm that the owl was in fact in that hole. It's the first time that I've actually seen an eastern screech owl. I've heard them before but never gotten a chance to see one. So behind me here is two clay colored thrushes and clay colored thrush is a bird that is only found in the Rio Grande Valley in the U.S. And I've been to the valley several times before but never could find it and this trip I was able to find it at Benson State Park and here so pretty neat. I think that's going to be it for Estero State Park. It's an awesome state park, and if you are ever in the Rio Grande Valley, make sure you come visit it. So I'm here at Salineño Wildlife Preserve and world-famous destination. Pretty small, but there's a lot of birds here. Some rarities have been reported, like rose-throated Picard, and a couple days ago there was a crane hawk, so it'd be great to maybe see some of those. Um, a lot of potential here, so let's see what we can find. Right away, I got Osprey, Great Blue Heron, American White Pelican, and Altamira Oriole. So I think that's it for today. Spent about 45 minutes here. Um, got Ringed Kingfisher and Greyhawk, which are some new ones for the year for me. The Ringed Kingfisher is the largest kingfisher in the U.S., so that's pretty neat. Um, also got Plain Chachalaca and Couch's Kingbird, too. Since San Leonio is pretty far away from the rest of the valley, we decided to camp at Falcon State Park. Here, I found a great horned owl. So I'm here at San Annual Wildlife Preserve. Been here for about 45 minutes, and there's a lot of birds here as usual. Got here pretty early, so it's just now getting light. Um, got herd of morlet seed eater, which is lifer for me. Um, I think we're around 30 species or so for the day. Um, solitary sandpipers, least sandpipers, a lot of waterfowl. So I'm here in this kind of cypress area. These are some giant cypresses. Um, from what I know, they're some of the oldest cypresses still on the Rio Grande. So pretty neat to see them. Um, had a flock of great egrets, and I saw a gray hawk leave a tree right over here. Also got a Couch's Kingbird, which is pretty neat, and I think we're going to head back down the trail. It kind of just fades off into the brush behind me. Hopefully we can see an Audubon's Oriole, as that would be a lifer for me. So I got some great looks at the seed eaters. I'll pop a couple of pictures up on your screen right now. Um, really neat bird to see, as they're only found, at least in the United States, you can only find them here um, in very far south of Texas. There's only a couple parks, too. A quick stop at the feeders got Green Jay and Great Kiskadee. Here at San Leonardo, I managed to get about 45 species in just two hours. After San Leonardo, we made a quick stop to look for some lark buntings that had been reported at a nearby park. After about six minutes of searching, we finally found a nice flock of lark buntings. After about a week of birding with some breaks in between in the Rio Grande Valley, I had seen a total of 129 species of birds, seven of which were lifers. The reason I didn't get more lifers was because this was already my third time in the valley. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe if you're not already. If you want to see more birding adventure videos just like this one, then go ahead and click or tap the playlist on your screen right now.